Now that we have completed the Android and iOS sections, it's now time to actually do the JavaScript portion of the code push setup. Compared to the iOS and Android section, the JavaScript piece is very trivial. In order to get started, open up VS Code and navigate to your root React component in your app.js or ts or tsx or whatever you call it. But more or less, this is your root component of your React application. Now your component should look similar to mine. Mine may have a little bit more configuration because um, I'm using Apollo and some other stuff. But it, more or less, it should be the same. You should have an instantiation of your class at the top. And at the bottom, you should have an export default, whatever the name of your class is. If you don't have this export default set up, go ahead and do that now because we will be take, making use of a higher order component. Now at the top, go ahead and import code push. And this is going to be the NPM module that we installed earlier. So do import code push from react-native-code-push. And now let's scroll down to the bottom. We're going to create a variable called code push options. So I'll say code const code push options. We're going to set this equal to an object. And this object is going to have a parameter called check frequency. And this check frequency is going to have a value. And this value is actually going to be a constant that comes directly from the code push library. So we're going to say code push dot check frequency dot on app start. And all this does is it's basically telling code push to check for an update when the app starts up. Uh, you can configure this to a few other options such as on app resume, which is a little bit more aggressive. Uh, for our configuration, we're just going to use on app start. And now we're going to come down here to the export default. And now we're going to initiate our higher order function. So we'll say export default code push. And this is going to take in our code push options parameter. And this higher order function is going to return another function which is going to take our root component class as an argument. So there you go. Let me save this guy. And now code push is set up for our uh, JavaScript portion of our app. Now that that is complete, there's a few other items we have to do before we actually get start, before we can actually do a deployment. Uh, and that includes setting up our deployment key, if you remember from the beginning of this lesson.